Hi, it's Jonathan, and welcome to the first episode of Trident. Today we will be releasing the short, special video to announce, from the 23rd of June 2022, Ukraine has officially been declared a candidate for joining the European Union. As many of you probably know, the EU is a political union of 27 countries in Europe, with open borders, a common market, a common system of laws, a common European Parliament, and for most, even a common currency. Ukraine is not currently a member of the EU, although its government is interested in joining. In fact, in 2014, Ukrainian pro-European parties even staged a revolution, a revolution of dignity just to build closer ties with the EU, and to overthrow an autocrat, of course. Not surprisingly, on the 1st of September 2017, Ukraine signed an association agreement with the EU. Later, on the 17th of May 2021, Ukraine, alongside the countries of Georgia and Moldova, formed an association trio to cooperate on relations with the EU. Georgia and Ukraine were proposing to officially apply for EU membership in 2024 and then join in the 2030s. However, due to Russia beginning an invasion of Ukraine on the 24th of February 2022, the trio accelerated their timetable, with Ukraine submitting its bid on the 28th and Georgia and Moldova submitting theirs on the 3rd of March. As of the recording of this episode, Georgia is still an applicant and not a candidate member. However, on the 23rd of June, the European Council declared Moldova and Ukraine to be candidate members. Each of these three countries will have to adopt three free chapters of European law, collectively known as the Aki Communautaire. Aki, by the way, is a French term which I have seen translated as that which has been agreed. Think of the acquis as the main requirements for countries wishing to join the EU. Aside from that, and in Georgia's case reversing democratic backsliding, all that's left for the trio to do is develop their economies and expel the Russian armed forces from certain areas of each country and for Ukraine to, well, remain independent. That is what Ukraine has been fighting for for eight years. So I'd like to say congratulations and wish them luck on their journey to Europe. Until then, I'm Jonathan and this has been Trident.